And to take this further, we are being joined by Christopher Hale from Chicago. He's worked for President Barack Obama and Joe Biden in the White House and on the campaign trail. Christopher, good to see you yet again. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for having me. It's been a busy week. Uh, my hair is losing because I feel like I, never, I haven't slept much in the past week, but I really appreciate joining you. I, I was just going to ask, Chicago is awfully quiet today, isn't it? Yes, thank God. I think I think uh, most Chicagoans, I'm not a Chicagoan, I think most Chicagoans are ready for us to get home. Um, they're thankful for the economic impact, but they want their city back, understandably. Uh, a quiet August has turned into uh, quite a festival here. Right. Uh, Christopher, this is something we briefly touched upon before Harris's speech, of course. And today I can quote her. We have her speech. She said that we are charting a new way forward. She says this while standing by every single policy of the current administration. Isn't this confusing for the voters? You know, it's a great question. I think that what might be uh, of interest to your vote, to your, to your viewership, really in the United States, um, the, these elections are not about policies, for better or worse. They're not about policies. Um, they're, the word we use here um, might be common in your youth as well is vibes. It's about spirit, vibes, and biography. You know, for her, the first 20 minutes for a speech last night, I don't think the vice president mentions a single uh, policy. It's about the biography. So really, I think um, the, the, the reality of it is the new way forward is her, uh, a woman of color, um, the first first black and uh, female, uh, um, first Indian female nominee of our party, of any party. And I think that's what we were trying to highlight last night. And, you're, and I think that what's interesting about to win this election, you need both Biden voters, like the Biden coalition, and new voters. So she has a hard track to, pre uh, to dread. But I think that the reality of it is the new way forward has nothing to do with policy. It has everything to do with her. Um, and so we'll find out that this resonates with the voters. Right now, we're on a high. I mean, quite, I think, quite frankly, right now, we are winning a close election, but the attacks will come. The attacks will come on prices, on the uh, economy writ large, et cetera. And we will see if Vice President Harris is able to withstand those attacks. She hasn't gotten them yet, really. Right. Uh, speaking of this Democratic high, we are hearing that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has quit the race from the presidential uh, race uh, to the White House, of course. We're also hearing that he might have a sit down uh, talking with Donald Trump. Do you think that could change the course? Yeah, I think quite frankly, we'll endorse him. I think um, the reality of it is, is that Robert F. Kennedy's support has been dwindling for months. We find really the phrase that we use in, in elections is that people come home and third parties oftentimes struggle at the end of the election because really uh, most voters, especially on the side of voters, want to vote for a candidate who wins. We, we, we discount how many pe how much people want to vote for the winning ticket. So I think it might have a marginal effect um, to be very specific, but maybe a, a, anywhere between half a percent to one percent bump for Donald Trump. Um, and obviously the margins matter. I will say, frankly, it is a win for Trump that Kennedy is uh, dropping out of this race, but I don't think it's a massive win. I don't think it's, a, it's gonna be a major uh, shift in the race. All right, that's interesting. Thank you so much for joining us, Christopher, and getting us your insights from Chicago. Thank you so much. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.